What's going on guys? Bonehouse here, back with another tutorial. Uh, I just wanted to I just wanted to explain to you guys how to create and share your own custom colors really quick as fast as I can. So, first of all, you want to open up Fighter Factory 3. If you don't have Fighter Factory 3, I'll drop a link in the description and you can download it 100% free. Bars. Uh, then you want to have uh, the game downloaded whatever game you want to change the color of the character of uh, For this instance, we're gonna be using uh, our new game knockout. Okay, so you want to go to project you want to go to open and then uh, For this tutorial, we're gonna uh, work on Tui. Okay Then once he's downloaded um <clears throat> Uh, you want to click on this organizer icon right here uh, Your icons may look a little bit different from mine uh, Just make sure it says show slash hide the organizer right panel You want to click on that and then you can see everyone's Colors in the game so far. So if in this tutorial, we're gonna be just changing the first one. So click on this big palette uh, paint icon here and then this is our new workstation for making colors, all right? Uh, you can zoom in, all right? So let's see. First thing I wanna do is change the color of his skin, right? So there are two ways to do that. We can either use the eyedropper tool and just highlight the skin and the shadow. And then we can use the sliders down here on the left side to make our own Tui skin. So I kind of want want to make him like pink, right? Let's go ahead and make him pink. Uh, that's nice pink. Is it? Yeah. That's nice pink. So to save that, we want to click on both of the green check marks. If you didn't mess around with the hue and saturation, you don't really have to uh, click on the first one. But in this case, we mess with the RGB, so we're gonna click on the green check mark to apply these changes, and then boom. Um, and let's see. Then I wanna mess with these little bands, right? So the second way we can highlight the colors is to you can press um, a control and then left click on, let's say, all of the red ones, right? And then we can go ahead and change the color of all of those at the same time. So I kind of want to make, kind of want to make that purple, right? All right, and there we go. Um, um yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and change the color of the outline too, actually. So let's see. Let's just leave it like that. All right. And then want to hit the green check marks. Then you want to hit this icon right here commit changes to the current palette that will save your changes save your colors to the palette one one all right so you want to do that and then now once you do that you can actually uh use the slider up here to look at the different sprites you know and uh let's see so tui has some fire right here this 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 big thing right here so to change the color of the fire um you can hit the first color then hold shift then select the last color and that will highlight the entire gradient and from there on you can use the hue saturation rgb sliders to change how you want uh, the fire to look right so this instance let's just make his fire like like um, let's see just make it like blue or something, right? Then you want to hit the green check mark. Then you want to hit commit changes to the current palette. And that will go ahead and save it. And then you can exit out of this and then boom. Uh, to save the palette, you can click on this icon right here that says save the palette as a file. Just hit OK. And then you can give it any other name you want. So let's just name it Bubblegum, all right? Okay, and to load the palette, like if if you see a palette in the Discord that you really want, and they dropped the .act file for it, uh, you can go ahead and open up Fighter Factory 3, 
choose any color you want to replace so I want to replace this green one here you want to hit on define new colors to the palette from a file which basically means load okay so you want to click on that and then you want to choose the color that you want so in this case I'm gonna just load up the bubble gum and then boom it's saved and then you can hit this icon right here that says save sprites and once you do that your colors are saved and they're good to go so let's go ahead and run Tui and Mugen and see how this color looks right um, all right all right it looks like we've got our color working perfectly fine let's see how his fire looks awesome look at that that's so cool and if you have followed my instructions correctly you should have your own custom color for your character in knockout and that's basically it it's super easy if you have any issues uh, make sure to ping someone in the knockout discord or you can just ping me um, at bonehouse and uh, we'll get everything we'll get everything fixed up for you if you have any questions drop them down in the description and i will answer them as fast as humanly possible all right thank you guys for watching this video thank you guys for wanting to make your own color in knockout and i'll see you in the next video slash trailer